this is Kathy from Kathy's Creations and Specialties. This is a design team project for Crest Supplies for you. Um, okay, Julie, I got really creative. I actually found a cardboard birdhouse from the Dollar Tree. And this is the final project. It's interesting how you can take a... Um, Dollar Tree item and make it beautiful. Now, what I have done, the things, um, actually I'm going to show you a surprise later on, but what the supplies that I have actually used from Julie's store are quite a few. The first one is this trim here, um, this lace, and then right above it is this um, trim. So that's all from Julie's. As well as you can see, I made the roof from some bling. It's a black cherry bling. And I tried to follow the colors as closely as I could from the bird. The um, birdhouse itself is kind of a light purple. And then the, the teacup and the bird are kind of purples and, and um, golds, yellows. And there's a little bit of pink in the... Um, cups, which is, that's where I brought in the um, bling, the black cherry, to um, go with this. Now, I made this project for my girlfriend for Christmas. So if she does watch this video, that's okay. She's going to know what one of her gifts are. But, um, and then um, what I did was I found this, um, I had to show you a I got these from when I unpacked some uh, pots and pans I just recently bought. These cardboard circles were separating the um, the lids from the pots so that the lids didn't get broken. So what I did was I added some bling to um, the one that was this size. I added the same, I papered it with some gold paper from K and Company and I then topped it with the black cherry bling. So that's how I got this pedestal, okay? And on the very bottom of the pedestal came a very, um, that came with a larger circle, also separating some of the pans. So I went ahead and I papered the, the circle, then I added this really pretty lace and trim, and this comes together, it's a satin lace trim. And so I added that in between the pedestal and the circle. Then once all that dried, I went ahead and then I attached it to the birdhouse. And then the next product that came from Julie's is these white, large white flowers. Love these roses. I left them white because of the purple, white, and gold. And these butterflies also came from Julie's. And then right above that, you see this really pretty, um, it's an olive green with some goldish beads and sequins. I added that to all the way around the birdhouse. So that trims out the bottom of the birdhouse. And then on top, I also added another trim to... Um, to un underneath this, there's a, a beaded trim. I didn't like the, not the beaded trim, it's a braided trim. It's an ivory braided trim. I didn't like the way it looks, so I went ahead and I added the same trim that I added to the sides here. I added that to the top. And then this also came from Julie's. It is a teardrop um, trim pearl trim and 
it kind of has two different links so that kind of made the roof um, line at the top and then there are three other products here this bird came from Julie's Isn't that a beautiful bird I didn't have a bird that had purple on it but I did love the pink because it then brought out the pink in the in the teacups and it and then these really pretty um, acrylic purple um, beads and then underneath it I also have some iridescent um, flower sprays and that really pretty and then underneath all that there is a two inch doily that's also from Julie's so that's kind of how I created this really pretty bird house now the surprise to all this is you can remove the lid don't know if it's going to let me remove it with just one hand um, okay let me put down the camera because I can't do it with just the one hand so you get to look at the beautiful green hand flowers Once you remove the roof, it actually is a mini album that's on the inside. Oop, that's my chair. <laughs> anyway, so um, I added some purple, um, matched the inside of the birdhouse. I didn't do anything to the inside of the birdhouse, except here's some more of the... Um, these are photo mats that I created for the mini album and so that's the inside of the bird house these are the photo mats and I just used olive and purple kind of a, a soft green and olive and then here's some that has flowers and and so th these match the purple and what I'm leaving this all blank because I'm going to want my friend to decorate the inside of this mini um, album in her desired look. She's also a crafter. So there are seven little flips here and um, each one of them you can add those um, Uh, photo mats, sorry, those photo mats to these little pockets. And just like I have here, are some that just pull out. So here's some more. And the nice thing about this is, is she can also add flower, I mean, photos um, here and then on the opposite side. I used paper um, and all these papers came from various different lines um, mostly um, K and company but um, I think this was my mind's eye um, th the gold but the gold is different um, there's s different patterns um, to the gold And then it, then it starts repeating. So anyway, that is the surprise, is that she can make a mini album out of the rest of the, um, out of this project. And then you can just place the little roof right back on. So she can use this um, and decorate the mini album any way she would like to. So anyway, that is my project. I would like to thank you for watching. Um, make sure you stop by Craft Supplies for You at www.ks number four, the letter U dot net 
forward slash backwards slash store. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day. And have a lot of fun crafting. Bye.